are breast implants making some women sick? Tens of thousands of women say they have breast implant illness. And for the first time, a leading organization for plastic surgeons recognizes their symptoms as an actual illness and a reason to remove those implants. CBS 8's Anna Laurel spent the day with a La Jolla plastic surgeon and one of his patients, and she joins us now with more on this. Anna? That's right, you guys. This is so interesting. For years, women with implants say they go to their doctor complaining of everything from hair loss to brain fog to skin rashes and more. Now, if their blood work doesn't and find anything, they might get told it's all in their head. Well, a local plastic surgeon I met with today says new research ties systemic symptoms to implants. I didn't even know that this illness existed. Had I known that before, before I, I had the implants, I never would do that because it's extremely risky. Alejandra Lozano was 18 when she got breast implants. We are told that the more beautiful you are, the more value you have. Several years ago, she started having medical issues no one could explain. Bumps, chronic diarrhea, mental fog all the time. I'm losing, still losing my hair, my memory. I was like, why my memory is so bad? Three months ago, an itchy rash started on one of her breasts, and for the first time, she discovered breast implant illness, or BII, on Google. And I start crying, but I feel a relief, like, oh my gosh, I finally know what I have. I never, never linked the symptoms to those uh, implants, never. And this past Friday, Dr. Luke Swidston at La Jolla Cosmetics removed her implants. We're finally really pinpointing why do I feel like crap every morning when I wake up? Why do I feel fatigued? Why do I have brain fog? I can't formulate thoughts. Why, why do I have dry eyes all the time? Why do my joints hurt? He says new research shows 68% of patients feel better after their implants are removed. And the Aesthetic Society of Plastic Surgery just announced systemic symptoms of breast implants is now an acceptable reason to remove implants if there's no connection to other illness. Because of the symptoms that they're reporting mimics so many other diseases, it was always very difficult to pinpoint that the implants are actually responsible. Alejandra believes her implants were the root of her problems that are now disappearing. It's like having a bomb in your body. Just awful. There are certain situations, of course, where people still want and need implants, like for women needing reconstructive surgery after a mastectomy. But Dr. Switson says women should know all the risks, the maintenance and potential complications that come with having implants. And at least now there's a name for this. I know I have a friend, too. I know a lot of us know people mm -hmm. who have had these symptoms that are unexplainable. Mm -hmm. And finally, they're coming to light. Now, with this new name called breast implant illness, is this something that insurance will cover now? It's the symptomatic symptoms because that's what people have been calling it, the breast impact illness. Okay. But they said, well, that's a phenomenon. But this, that was my first question. Uh, Marcella, there is no insurance code for it yet. That's what everybody wants to know. But Dr. Switson says this is an important first step to get there, for the surgeon's group to recognize it, give it that name. He hopes one day it'll have its own code and insurance will cover implant removal. We know there's going to be a fight over that, but we know that these women are suffering and mm -hmm. they, they need help with this and they need their insurance to pay for it. So That's exactly right. we'll just see how long it takes to get there. Anna yeah. Laurel, thanks, Anna. Thanks, guys.